What's going on YouTube? I have a video for you. I have been meaning to make this video for quite some time now and here's the thing. It has taken me probably thousands and thousands of hours to learn the stuff that I have figured out on how to stream and how to make videos um, and I just have a lot of information I'd like to put out there for you guys. So, it's gonna be a long video. I'm thinking about cutting it down and making it into multiple short videos. Um, we'll see. Um, but at the moment, I'm gonna try to create one long one so I can try to cover as much information as possible and just you know you guys can just watch it and i'll try to cut it down in the category so that like you guys have a little bit of ideas of what i'm going to be talking about um beginning to end um so first with no further ado let's get into it first things first okay so the first thing i wanted to show you guys is is if you guys are let's go to the screen real quick there we go desktop all right whether or not you guys are on a single pc setup or a dual pc setup this first part is going to be basically if you're trying to become a streamer and you don't have a lot of time or you do have a lot of time either or this could be very helpful information so basically you stream right you want to get content out there you do you just want to that's the biggest way you're going to succeed i mean here look i just started this two months ago within the first 28 days first 28 days um, I mean this is gonna show the last two months but no joke within the first two 28 days I was already up to like a million views so let's look videos all right let's go to analytics boom just in the like I've been doing this for like a little over two months now look just the last 28 days alone 758,000 views 1207 subscribers i had none i had zero okay zero all right and in two months ago i started this and i did what i do is i upload shorts i do five a day they're 30 seconds they're they're at most they can be no longer than a minute for some reason youtube if you upload a video that's 60 seconds it it, it makes it one minute and one second long so if you up when you upload to youtube make sure that you upload 59 seconds okay we're gonna get into that i was just showing you this real quick so you have a little bit of idea what you're working on here like basically you want to upload five shorts to youtube a day i know it sounds like a lot but it's not so look it's very easy to do i'm going to show you exactly how to do it and i'm going to show you how to do it in a very fast way so that even if you don't have a lot of time and you want to do this but you don't like i said like other people out there they have a lot more time to put these videos up and you don't so here it is five videos a day put them on here now obviously whenever you get a time uh, whenever you get some time make a long video like if you get a w a win or something like that make a long video and put the long up you can only monetize off your long videos you can't monetize off your shorts that means monetize means you can't make money off your long videos yet in the future i believe they're going to make video they're going to uh put it so that you can make money off your shorts why because tiktok does that and they're trying to compete with tiktok so i believe they will in the future at the moment this is the time to put those shorts up there because they haven't done it yet so a lot of the big time streamers aren't just doing shorts yet because they're not monetizing off of them so make your shorts and what you do make five shorts a day and then this is the most important part because you're gonna make long you're gonna make wait if you can one video long video like one w or not even a w just a really good game you're gonna make that game you're gonna make it a long video you're gonna put it up on youtube and then when you put your five shorts up a day you're gonna go to, to that video you're gonna click on it pause it go to the comment section and then this is what you're gonna do you're gonna put the first comment thanking everybody for their support you're gonna link that long video that you the latest video or the latest the last three videos or whatever you want in that comment and let them know about it let them know that you're also you also stream live at twitch and show them your twitch thank them and then the most important part is pin it it puts it at the very top message at the very, at, at, above everyone else's and they see that everyone sees that and then look that i mean this video is the last video i just put up yesterday it's already got seven likes and and two what? 
Oh wait, no, this video has 220,000 views. I, this wasn't from yesterday, this was from like last week. But, um, yeah, so, did support, do that shit. Um, <laughs> are you sniping people with shotgun or some shit? Have you lose it? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, um, sorry. That's the most important part, because now these shorts, they get views. Now, if you put five a day, and you do it every single day, give it like a week. Okay, you'll start getting a lot of views. Now, obviously, I said you can't make money off your shorts yet, but when you put something like that, uh, put something like this right here, where it shows people that you have a video, like you make a one long video, easy day, a week, whatever, and then, or two weeks, whatever, whatever you can, and you just put that right here, and they see that. O over a course of six months to a year, man, you're going to be getting a ton, a ton of views. You'll probably be well over the you'll be well 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 over a thousand subscribers probably at ten thousand and you'll be well at the mon monetizing era area if not very close to it so do that and this is how you do that all right so obviously i do it not just to youtube i do it to all the other platforms as well because once you have the video why not you know but if you don't have time just do youtube shorts put a youtube long up youtube makes the most money right now so just do that and, and and there you go now this is how you do and get those shorts up there now that you know how to get it out to the viewers and get them to see your stuff and how to start getting you on solid ground even if you don't have a lot of time here's the next step here's how you get that video fast as hell because you do not have a lot of time so whenever you do stream whenever you do get time after your stream or the next day or whenever easy day check it out so first thing first on how to start your shorts. Okay. So you don't have a lot of time. You need to get, into it. You need to get done. So you go to Twitch. Twitch. TV forward slash whatever your name is, obviously. Yeah, no, no. There you go. There you go. You're at your page. Alright, I'm not signing the shit. Okay. Once you're at your Twitch. Right here in the top right corner, you click your little icon. Boom, right here. You got three options. Channel, video producer, creator dashboard. These are very important when you're streaming. Um, when you're streaming, more more, more creator dashboard because that shows you your dashboard. I'll show you that in one second. Video producer is where you go after you're done streaming or the next day so that you can easily, in a fast-paced manner, get some easy content really quickly to upload. So video producer, you can click on it to go to your video producer. If you're at your creator's dashboard and you go to click on your icon, it doesn't show up. Why? Because all you have to do is click on content and it's right there. It's already on the page that you're on. So don't get confused. If you're at your creator dashboard and you click on it, you don't see it. It's because it's over here on the left-hand side underneath the content, okay? Now, this is where you have your clips. This is where you have your video producer. Um, your clips is your 30 second clips. Um, if you don't know what that is, basically if you have a stream deck, you can put it on your stream deck and it'll clip the last 30 seconds and immediately send it to your clips on your Twitch. If you have also a marker on your uh, stream deck, it'll mark your highlighter, which I'll show you in one second. So look, if you don't have a stream deck and you want to utilize those features, easy day, you can add them on your quick action bar over here. Easy day, you just hit the plus sign and you can go to add a stream marker. Boom, or clip that. And boom, you add it. And then uh, right there, I already have one. I'm not streaming, but it shows it. You can add the marker. You can add clip that. And then when you have this open, or say you don't have more than one monitor, so you don't have this open on one of your monitors, and you can just, you know, uh, Windows key and go into this and then just clip it. Bam. If you don't have more than one monitor, if you have to, you know, if you want to. Um, I have multiple monitors, and I don't even need this because I have a stream deck, but I'm just trying to make it easily accessible to you if you don't. Um... So, uh, also, like I said, adding the marker, um, that is for the video producer. So, basically, when you're streaming, uh, you add a marker throughout your stream every time you see something cool or something that you might want to save, but you need to edit in the future. Cool. Um, video producer. When you go to video producer, I streamed yesterday. Okay. I have three markers right here. It says three markers on this stream from November 9th, 2021. It was a three hour and 31 minute stream and it was from yesterday. Boom. Highlights right here. You click it. It opens up a new tab. Every single yellow marker is when you hit your marker. So you come up to one right here. 
I'm getting close to this building. I think I remember the clip. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this button right here. All right, Wait, let me pause this so you know what I just did. This button right here, it's called Start Segment at Playhead. This is your start and this is your end. And this is where, like what you wanna be clipped. Now you're gonna get better at this and you're gonna be faster at this. So I'm gonna clip right here because I have, I, I have a feeling what's about to happen. So, but say like you're getting frustrated because you're not being able to clip it at the very right moment. That's okay, you can click on this right here and you can just go in and you can just type in three or four, or whatever time you want. Say like, Say like you're not getting the exact moment you're wanting. Say like, you know, I just typed in three. All right, so I'm going up and say, look at this. All right, that guy just jumped in. Boom, say I just hit it, all right, and I popped it. I'm like, oh shit, I just hit start segment right after I saw the dude. I want it right before the dude. So if I saw it right after, I'm assuming maybe like, what? well, it's a good amount. Let's say, let's just do five seconds prior to what it was just showing, boom. So five seconds, I just went back five seconds. You could do six, whatever, it doesn't matter, whatever you want, and you hit play. So now I'm five seconds before I see the dude. There he is. Got lucky, okay. I thought I had a throwing knife. As soon as I saw the grenade come out, I just fucking threw it at the ground. Fuck it. <laughs> Left. like the first game I did when I got it. Boom. So I'm gonna do fake up, press up, bang him. Boom. You just got your clip. Look at that. Right here, I'll show you how long it is. Remember what I said? You don't want it any longer than 59 seconds because when you upload it to YouTube, it instantly adds a second. So 59 turns into a minute. So 30 seconds long. Got a little double kill. Um, I slid in, got behind the dude, did a little slide cancel behind the dude. It was pretty funny. I threw a grenade at the ground, thought it was a throwing knife, whatever. We'll just call it right here. Slotting in the DMs. Whatever exclamation mark another thing I noticed it's really good to do when you're making things when you're doing titles for videos make every single word in there a capital letter at the beginning so slide capital S in capital I T capital or the capital T it just adds more to the, the to it so that people it catches their eyes more um, and then there you go slide in the DMS boom we got your first clip from your stream then you add a new highlight you got your first one now you go to a second one go to your second part right here boom what's this who the fuck knows um like i said you, you want to try to create five of these they don't have to be the best plays in the world um just maybe a, a funny just get a kill with the gun and then t say something like get a kill does it like it you get, like even if you're a below average player and you just really want to put content out and get better at what you do and maybe get better at the game and you're not the best yet but you want to start doing this and getting better at it that's fine just get a kill and then talk about the gun be like oh i like this gun it's pretty like how are you guys liking it you know just bring in just just talk just ask them about the gun like you don't even have to talk about how sh the, the play was maybe it wasn't the best play in the world but you just want to talk to your audience about the gun and you just put a little clip up of you getting a nice little headshot or something or whatever maybe you make a mistake in the clip don't worry about it just fucking edit just put it up because here's the thing you're gonna get haters no matter what but haters love to tell you their opinion and when they tell you their opinion guess what it generates more views and no no lie though the, the more views it brings in, the more positive people it'll bring in. But the thing is, positive people don't always need to tell you their opinion because they're positive people, but haters always do. So don't even stress about it. Don't even worry about it. Just be happy that the haters are bringing in views for you. Just accept it and just keep doing what you're doing and staying positive and loving life. Just do it. All right. Now look, next part. Um, So here we are. We like I said, five videos a day, shorts. Okay, if you can't do five, I've run analytics on five, and I've got, I've seen how successful it could be. You could try four, you could try three, but you could do this super fast, just like this. You start getting really good at it. It said six minutes, so you want to make sure you know what you're doing. So you just re-click on it, um, and then 54, 56 is the ending. I guess where I hit the ending at. So let's just go to. Um, 54 colon 30 maybe, maybe it's a little far. go to 40 yeah right before I go up the ladder 
All right, boom. Run up the ladder. This clip isn't that long, but you know, whatever. You could go up to 59 seconds, but why waste people's time when all the, what, the action was in the 60 seconds? You can also, if you know how to use Adobe Premiere Pro or other editing software, you can add clips together. If they're all near each other, is when I usually do that. He had the drop. <laughs> LOL. Now, usually those two to me, these last two right here, flicking on them, and he had the drop, they're both very short, and I would just add these probably together because they're pretty close to each other. And at that point, since they're only double kills, um, I would add those two together in some sort of editing software. Now, if you don't have editing software, fuck it. It's fine. It's fine. Just just put them in small clips. Upload five. That's the most important thing. Get five up there. And um, there you go. Obviously, I only got three here because I didn't do much yesterday. I'm going to get two others. Um, I have tons of clips saved from that I've never put up, so I'll add two. But obviously, you know, some days um, you might get like um, ten little clips that you can make right here in this thing. You know, it takes like 20, 30 minutes to do all this right here. I'm taking my time with it to explain stuff. But, you know, um, you know, and then if those days come, just add them into an extra folder. Um, usually I'll make two folders. I'll make one called downloads and I'll make obviously we already know there's a downloads like on your thing, but you make your own folder. I'll make like a folder called content and then I will in that content folder, make a folder called downloads and then a folder called extra downloads. And my downloads folder will be the five videos I'm working with on that day. And then the extra download folder will be extra downloads that were more than five that I wasn't using yet in case I needed an extra video for a day or something. And I can pull from that folder. And then I only have three here. You see one, two, three, but you would have five or more or whatever. And then as soon as you did that, you hit publish highlights. Save, save. You can give it descriptions here and all that, but I, I don't really worry about that. This is about speed and efficiency because you don't have a lot of time. You have to get to work. You have to feed your kids. You got to go to school. You got to do shit, all right? It's about speed and efficiency. You can add a description to these on Twitch, but like, it's not the main thing. They have a title, and that's all that really matters. Um, and then once you're here, they're, they're processing. Now, you don't have to wait till they finish process. You don't have to wait till they finish processing, but you do have to wait a couple seconds and it can only download three at a time. And as soon as it starts downloading, you can download another one. So look at that. I waited a couple seconds before clicking on it. Now I can download it. Go back, click on it, download it. Go back, click on it, download it. What's really happening is when you go into your file explorer, you go to your downloads, um, it's gonna show up right here, this one. You shouldn't see these just yet. I just did this a minute ago and uh, I didn't have the audio running. So I messed up and did like a lot of work for no reason. But anyway, um, so it, your five clips will show up uh, right here on download. So it, it won't say stream letter, it'll say just your clips like this one that you just downloaded right here. And then uh, you take those clips. Now, this is going to go by a lot faster, um, but basically what I do is then at this point, I open up a tab, um, use your bookmarks, use your bookmarks, or don't remember them, whatever, um, or write them down, whatever works for you, bookmarks are fast, so I just do that, go to my bookmarks, this is called Creator Studio, I use this for Instagram, it's what I do first, because Instagram doesn't do vertical clips, and they do at max 60 seconds, so all my clips for the most part unless i'm doing youtube longs are going to be 59 seconds obviously because you can't go to 60 because if you go to 60 then they become a minute one second long on youtube why i have no fucking idea i have no idea so you go to a creator studio uh you can search it business uh you can search creator studio instagram and google click the first link if it has you on facebook for some reason and it looks weird like this just click up here and go to instagram because you don't need Facebook because when you post on Instagram, there's a, there's a button that you can also click that will instantly post it to your Facebook page as well. You can link that in here. All right. Um, so, obviously, I just posted this today. Um, you do your five, whatever, on Instagram. Or if you just want to do you, whatever, do you uh, teach his own. Um, so then create a post right below it. It's Instagram feed. Boom. You click that. Click right here the blue. Add a content. You click from file upload. And then you click that file. Don't, ignore these streamliner ones. These don't exist at the moment. You don't see these because you can see these at this point. You click on your downloads from your Twitch stream. This is all.
all about time efficiency. Now, the Twitch right here. It'll pop it up. It'll show it right here. Put your caption in. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, what I would say is when you're making the caption. Uh, did I already say it? Oh, yeah. Capitalize the first letter in every word. You know? This is cap. The T, the I, the C. Capitalize it. Use some expressive punctuation in your shit. You know? Exclamation marks or whatever. Also, utilize um, some emojis. You know, it grabs people's attention, their eyes. Also, go to Notepad. You know? Go to here. Go to here. Go to Notepad. I'm typing on my keyboard. Go to Notepad. Boom. Type up, not Notepad++, Notepad, right here. You know, pop that that open. It's going to open up your Notepad. Make a Notepad with your Warzone clips like this so that you can, like, copy that. All right? You want to copy so that you can just open this up real quick. It opens it, copy it, and then you can go to this, and you can just be like, paste. Boom. You come down here, right here, click this box. It also posts it to... Uh, and you click publish and then click as is right afterwards but this will put it on your page as well so you never even have to it does it to both of them at the same time so fast if you don't have a lot of time you want to do Instagram and Facebook boom right here you can do all five of your videos here's another important thing when you hit publish it's wait for the title of your video and the video to pop up here before creating another post because what will happen is you'll go to create another post and you'll be in the middle of doing all this. You'll see your video here. You'll be in the middle of typing all this in. And then as soon as it pops up here, this whole screen right here will go back to this one. And you'll have to re-click on create a post and go back in and do it again. So just wait for it to pop up. Now here's the thing. Before you start doing this Instagram thing, no matter whether or not you want to do YouTube only or TikTok only, those two need vertical clips. This is how you do that. Before you start going in your Instagram and doing your non-vertical clips, the ones you just downloaded, easy day, you come over here, you open up five tabs, you go to each tab, and here's a bookmark, all right? Make sure you bookmark this one too. It's called Stream Ladder. It's the most easiest, efficient, fastest way of doing this, okay? And in this one, you literally are going to do this real quick. Control C, copy that, okay? Go to your next tab, click on it. Control V, which pastes. Hit enter. Go to this one. Control V, enter. Control V, enter. Control V, enter. Well, you don't have to do it this way. I just, it's really fast for me this way. I don't know why. Um, then you go in here and you can local files. All right, you're going to have five of these, remember. I only have one on here right now because I only downloaded one from Twitch to make this go a little bit faster, but you're going to have five, your five videos. And then you're going to click on this. You're going to click on whichever one you want. These ones cost like a couple dollars to unlock everything, but if you don't have these, you can just do this one right here. But it's going to save your settings. You click one. You, you crop it the way you want with the little arrows here in your screen, like, you know, boom. You know, and it's going to save that crop. And literally, you just hit X, X, accept, accept, finish, boom. And then it transcodes it. And then you go to the next one. All right? And then you go to your next video out of your five. Click it. Accept, accept, uh, convert it. I'm not going to do that because I just did that on the first one. And I already have all these converted anyway. Um, well, I'll show you. Like, just for instance. Uh, accept, accept, finish. Pretend there's five different ones. I didn't download five different ones. But all five of your videos. You just go down the list. Accept, accept, finish. You go out on all five. While they're transcoding, because it takes a few minutes for them to transcode, go to your creator studio and start uploading your five videos real quick to uh, Instagram. You just create a post, video, title, publish. Make sure you hit the Facebook button. Do your page. Make sure you create a page. Boom. Done. Um, and then when that's done, you come back over here. And when these are done transcoding, well, not when we're done transcoding, but when they're done transcoding, it's going to have a little download button here. And literally what you're going to do is you're going to hit download, go to the next one, 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 download. Then once you download those five, I'm not going to transcode it because I've already transcoded it, but once you download those five, you go to your uh, file explorer, little folder here, you go to make sure under this PC, downloads, here's your downloads. I don't need this. Here's your downloads, and um, 
those are the, from the stream ladder and this is what you're uploading so um to to, to youtube and to uh tiktok because they're vertical clips and uh so then once you have those in your downloads folder like so um let me show you something oh, what are you doing? um so i just uploaded today is the test two videos okay so this is what you're gonna be doing once you get to youtube you got your five things you're gonna click up here create upload videos um you're gonna go to um this box or you just click right there and um go to your five streamlight videos and these are what you're gonna upload your five to youtube shorts and um to tiktok right now we're on youtube so we're gonna click it all right um once you click it you're waiting for this to process your video um you don't have to wait for process your video obviously while it's processing and all that you can go ahead over here and you can type in the name of the video um you can type in shorts um you can type in show more type in warzone um and then you can type in allow all comments I I don't do a description for my shorts. I just put hashtag shorts. I heard it really doesn't matter if you even put that there. I just do it. Um, you can hit play right here to see this video. I called it that flick doll. That's what I called. That's what I was doing that one. So you just name it. Boom. Emoji. Um, and then next, next, next. You finish processing because you see the video popped up. And if you click next, 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 publish, when it's done processing, you can hit it on Twitter. You can also just hit next, 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 publish before it finishes processing. You just can't upload it. You just can't tweet it. But this way, like you do the Instagram, it does Instagram and Facebook. You do YouTube, it does YouTube and Twitter. And then the last one you do is TikTok. Everything's really easy. Um, obviously, also those settings that you saw when I clicked on a video to upload it, you can go into your account. Or wait, you can go into settings down here. You can go into your channel and you can actually select your countries. You can select who you want it to go to. You can manage account. You can set things up so you don't have to do that every single time. Just going through here and looking at stuff. Upload defaults. Um, you know, public right from there, permissions, like all that stuff right from, uh, right from here. And then when you do this whole thing, it's already set up for the most part. Upload video right up top right, click it, um, video. Uh, if you don't remember the name of the replay, so because it has a process hit and you're trying to be even quicker about it, just go to where you're just clicking it and be like, all right, what video do this click on? Okay, it was this one. It was, he had, I named it. He had the drop on me. So, I'll minimize that. Now I can go back over here. He had the drop on me. Um, LOL. Alright. Go over here. Shorts. Over here. Warzone. Oops. Loud comments. Make sure we, we, we know what video we like. We know everything. But a good thing in life to do is always fact check yourself. Even if you think you're right. Alright, yes, it is correct. Um, just so you don't make mistakes. Um, then we'll go. So then we do publish Twitter. Tweet it as you start growing bigger and bigger. You might not have to tweet all your videos. Maybe you just do one tweet when you're done doing all of them. Whatever you do, you know. Um, so so far we got one, two, three, four up. We have one more left to do five total on YouTube. Um, this one I believe was. Oh yeah, this one was sliding in the video. All right.
shorts. Also here, in this part right here, you can, you can when you're clicking on this, you can add new playlists and add playlists. Like I, this one, my shorts one I made is for my vertical shorts that are 60 seconds or less. My shorts wide are for shorts that are 60 seconds or less that are wide. My Warzone games full, that's, you know, speaks for itself, just full games. Uh, Warzone full games edited are full games that are edited. And then Warzone clips are just clips that aren't full games um, that are longer than 60 seconds. So that way if people, like say, they're like, oh, I like his shorts, but you know what? I really like his shorts. Why? Because I can actually see like his kill count. I can see the whole screen. I can see everything. And he can just go through that entire playlist watching all my shorts, but at full screen. It just makes it easier for the user. It's like say they like something, but since if it's there, they'll be like, oh, I'll watch more. I've literally had people say that and do that. Or if it's not there, they'll just move on and be like, uh, you know, I'm not interested. It's not organized enough for me. You know, if you want to, you don't have to. It's just something that um could help. Boom. Done deal. Cool. All right, now you got them all uploaded to YouTube. Beautiful thing. Um, yeah, so on YouTube over here, also, um, when you go to YouTube and you go to your channel, obviously, you click over here on the left side. If it's not there, it looks like this. Click on these three things right here. Um, click on your videos, and then boom, it'll pop up another tab. And then on this tab, um, you have your dashboard, your content, all your videos, when they're published, the restrictions or not, visibility, views. You don't want restrictions because you want to be able to monetize off, off stuff. Obviously, you can't monetize off shorts yet, but your shorts are have a purpose, and you already know what that is. So, um, and then uh, you come over here in analytics and all that good uh, stuff, and it shows you all like what's going on with your videos. Also, you can check on your monetization to see like um, how close you are to making some money. Um, and comments are also good. Reply to them as soon as you get them. I, I, what I've noticed is the more comments you get, the more um, views YouTube shares yours. The more people YouTube shares your video to. Obviously, you have to create a TikTok, log in. That's normal. Um, upload video, right top right. Come over here, click on this. Go to your first video. These are all the stream live ones that we've been working on YouTube because um, they're the vertical, vertical, vertical clip. And then go to your one. You know, type in whatever you want. What was shooting at me? You go back to your um, to tags, copy, paste. All right, shorts, post. Couple seconds, boom. What do you want to do? Upload another video. We want five. I mean, all right, so it's not as important to do five on Instagram and TikTok, Facebook, Twitter just on YouTube because your majority of your stuff is going to be on YouTube. Now, if you want to put all five on everything, it doesn't take that much more time to do it and you will get more views and more followers and more all that if you do it. But it's up to you. How much time do you have? Um, all this shouldn't take that long though. Maybe I'll do a speed video one day where I don't talk about anything. I just see how fast I could do it to see how long it actually does take. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Profile. Which you can also do from right here, just hovering over this and going here and you can do blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then looking just to fact check to make sure I did five. Uh, zero, 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 zero views. These five. All right, I did five on here. We're good there. TikTok, you're done. All right, let's go back over here right quick. Let's go to my videos. This is one other thing you should do on YouTube right after we did our five videos today, all November 10th, these five. I'm going to go to one I did the previous day. I'm going to click on comments. I'm going to click on the video. I'm going to pause the video. 
I'm gonna go down to this comment. I do this on all my my shorts because you don't not yet can you monetize off of shorts. In the future, probably you will be able to because you're trying to compete with TikTok. And um, TikTok lets you make money off your shorts. So I come over here. This is another way a way I do this that makes it a little bit faster. I feel like you get the five you just put up. You might lose track when you're doing this and you might like skip them by accident. So the way I like to do this the best is I click on comments, I click on the video, I pause it, I go back to the second tab, I go to the next video, I click on the comments, I click on the video, I pause it, I go back to the first tab, click on the third video, click on the video, just so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. Go back. One, two, three. Click on the fourth video. Click on the video. Pause it. And last but not least, click on the fifth video. Pause it. All right. And now on one, two, three, four, five, the five videos right here that I just uploaded to YouTube just a second ago, I go to the comments. I paste this or whatever you want to do that I'm putting in here right now as well. Um, I do this in all the YouTube short videos. Um, I put a comment in, thank you all for the support, and then I'll put in like um, some links to some of the long videos that I've created in the last you know week or two or whatever, like whatever videos maybe I want them to check out. Um, I'll let them know that I stream, like I'll comment it and then hit these three lines, pin it because it'll be the first comment on the list that everyone will see. And then they'll see these latest videos you've come out with or the ones you want them to check out if you know they want to. Also, like you can let them know about your Twitch streaming, you know, what is your live Twitch. I've had people come over and check it out just by seeing this is the first comment. And, and there you go. That's the most important part on those shorts so that they when you're getting like, you know, on some of these videos, 200 some thousand views. They see this is the first comment and they come check out your Twitch or they come check out these uh, longer videos that you're actually monetizing off of, which means making money. That's what that means. And um, make sure you put those on, put that on all five videos that you upload every day. You can change it up, make it however you like it, make it you, make it whatever you want. Just know that when you comment it and then you pin it, it'll be the first message they see. And now not only will they see your Twitch, they'll see whatever videos you're trying to make mon monetize off of and maybe they'll like them and then see the next one. Um, you know, on for it. You just put that on all five of your videos. Right, you get rid of that. Um, you go back. Uh, like I always been saying through all this, you know, double check yourself. You know, right now you see your videos, uh, five. Uh, there's no comments on them, but you did comment on them. So refresh the page. Now you see one comment on them. So you're like, okay, I may I hit them all. I didn't miss any. No matter how you do it, if you refresh the page and you see one comment on all of them, you know that you didn't miss any. And then <clears throat> every once in a while, it'll say zero. And you go like, oh shit, I forgot one. And you'll go to click on it to do the comment, and it's actually there. I don't know why. It just happens every once in a while. I don't know. Um and then you got that, and that is uh your YouTube. You need to go on that. It's about fast pace. You don't have a lot of time, but you love to create content. You love to Twitch stream and you love to upload stuff. You just can't find the time. And that's an easy way of doing it. I made it a little bit longer so I could explain it to you. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make some more videos today. I'm going to make ones of, um, I'm going to make videos of Premiere Pro. I'm gonna make a video of streaming um, and single PC streaming, dual, dual PC streaming, um, and a little bit of how to set that up and how to do all that within OBS and all that extra stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to engage with you guys as much as like I'm with every single person, um, so that you all can have some help figuring this out. Also, in the comments below in this video if there was anything in specific that you didn't quite understand or you need more clarity on or maybe it's just something I didn't cover and you figured it out or you, it was something that you you uh, are dealing with that you need help with comment it I will 
get to every single person unless there's like a million people commenting and then I'll try. But <laughs> I'll try. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll help you all out. Let me know. And um, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy. If you like the video, like the video. And uh, let's, let's get all these streamers out here. Um, let's get them some help. Let's get going. Let's 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 get some views. Let's go. Um, I stream on Twitch. Um, Bay Trade. Uh, you can always stop by and ask me questions in stream. I'm always more than willing to answer questions or help out if you if you need help. And uh, hell yeah, brother. See you in the next one.